be prepared, fellow warriors of the pixelated world, because today we're talking about another character from Mortal Kombat, the Universe of Madness, and the spotlights on Ashura. Now, we all know Mortal Kombat is the OG of fighting games, where fists fly, spines shatter, and friendships are put to the test, and don't trust Scorpion with a handshake. But amidst the iconic lineup of fighters, there's a demoness who traded her dark side for a heavenly glow. Yep, Ashura. Imagine a demon trying to scrub off the evil stench, armed with a magical blade ready to slash her way to redemption. It's like demon spring cleaning, only with more crisp sword action and less dusting. So let's slice and dice through Ashura's tail, because in Mortal Kombat, even demons seek a little redemption buffet. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us it means a lot. Thank you, and let's begin. The Origins and History of Ashura Ashura, the demon huntress with a fondness for heavenly cleansing and a sword to boot first popping into the scene in Mortal Kombat Deception, Ashura is more than your average demoness. Despite her striking elegance and allure, she's no typical lady next door. She's a demon from the Net Realm, wearing white light. She's headed to a divine-inspired gala. Let's not play demon hunters and demons charades here. Ashura is the star of her own show, juggling allegiances between good and evil, kind of like the Kanye West of the Net realm. He's got this fantastic Chris sword, Datusha, which she believes to be heaven sent or at the very least blessed with heavenly vibes. In the present Mortal Kombat timeline, Ashura's got a bone to pick with Quan Chi. He enslaved her, her sister, and her shadow sisters, which is just the kind of family drama that makes Thanksgiving seem like a picnic. Now she's on a quest to purify her soul, seeking revenge and possibly hitting it off with Reptile. But let's rewind a bit in Mortal Kombat Deception. Ashura had an aha moment and decided to flip the bird to Quan Chi questioning his orders. In return, he sent her sister on a sister-slaying mission. While fleeing this messy family reunion, Ashura stumbles upon the Datusha, this holy sword. And what do you know, with each demon she slays with his blade, she feels a little less evil, a bit more purged, like a netherrealm detox. The road to redemption or ascension, as she sees it, is paved with demon slaying. The sword whispers sweet promises of purity, making her believe she's on a righteous crusade. Little does she know, the blade is more of a manipulative mastermind than a saint. It's the Detusha, a vampire slaying weapon tricking her into being an instrument of its genocide agenda against vampires and other demons. She isn't just swinging her crisp for show, though. She also moonlights as a demon slaying instructor teaching Shijinko the tricks of the trade. Now, Mortal Kombat Armageddon is like the big finale. After racking up a body count of demons, Ashura gets a VIP ticket out of the Net Realm, ending up in a realm of celestial beings who seem to have a thing for glow-ups and purification. They declare her their chosen one, giving her the divine duty of purifying the world and becoming an angel of light. It's like she won the lottery, but instead of money, she got a glowing resume. Armed with her Chris and a mission, she lands in Viternus, ready to give vampires a taste of her heavenly wrath. But Natara, one cunning vampire, gives Ashura a tough time. Defeated, Natara escapes to Edenia and Ashura's chase for power and ascension takes a detour through Edenia. Her eyes are set on gaining the power of Blaze, which sounds like a sequel to Gain Power or Die Trying. She's not one to give up easily, even if it means chasing vampires across realms. That concludes Ashura's wild ride through the Mortal Kombat universe, demon hunter, ascension seeker, and bearer of a Chris sword with a dark secret. Ashura's path to redemption in Mortal Kombat 1. In Mortal Kombat 1, she's making a comeback, bringing her righteous wrath and a new twist to her age-old quest for redemption. In this new Mortal Kombat 1 timeline, Fire God Liu Kang is the cosmic handyman, fixing up the shattered timeline using Raiden's powers. And in this fresh universe, Ashura, while closer to her demonic origins, is wielding the Datusha with her holy powers intact. She's still a warrior on a mission to purify her soul, and she's not letting anything get in her way. Her quest for purification wrapped in a heavenly glow remains a central aspect of her character. Her new reality is more closer to her old self. As the new universe has new versions of all characters, Ashura's history is more or less similar except Quan Chi is missing from this universe, so no sister slaying this time. Hence, her inspiration to fight evil takes a slight detour. As we know, Ashura was once your regular Netherrealm demon swimming in an abyss of pain and violence, thinking everyone else in all the realms led similar gloomier lives. But a 
fateful journey outside the Nether Realm showed her the light literally. There were beautiful and peaceful realms out there, and she couldn't stand by and watch them get defiled. So, Ashra turned her back on her demon squad and set out on a mission to be the Nether Realm's janitor. Armed with her shiny enchanted Chris sword, she started slaying her demon pursuers, all in the name of purification. As she slashed and diced through the underworld, she realized something mind boggling. Using the Chris to slice and dice evil was actually cleaning up her soul like a demon fighting detergent. The more evil she exterminated, the closer she got to purifying her soul and liberating herself from Nether Realm, and she could feel the big finale of Absolution approaching. Ashura's story kicks off even before the main Mortal Kombat 1 saga starts. She's on a mission, wielding her sword. Despite being a demon herself, Ashura wields holy powers thanks to her mystical sword, giving her a unique edge in the battle against the dark forces. This time, she's earlier in her purification journey, her face showing hints of her demonic origin that does and stop her from being an expert with a blade, unleashing her wrath on anything with fangs and horns. What lies ahead? Ashra's tale is far from over. As Mortal Kombat 1 unfolds, she'll likely cross paths with Natara, potentially leading to some epic battles. And with Quan Chi out of the picture, her motivations might shift a bit, but her commitment to the cause of purifying her soul and ridding the realms of darkness remains steadfast. Standing by Liu Kang's side, Ashra is a powerhouse and an asset against whatever darkness threatens the realms. Get ready because Ashra is back in Mortal Kombat 1 ready to slice through demons and vampires and everything else that needs purification. It's not just a battle, it's a dance of redemption with a Chris sword. Unique Powers of Ashra We're aware that Ashra wields the Detusha. This enchanted weapon holds the ability to cleanse the soul of its user, a feature that deeply influences Ashra's trajectory. As she dispatches demonic foes with the Chris, her essence undergoes a remarkable metamorphosis, shifting from darkness to light. This transformation is not only skin deep, it reshapes her very personality, steering her away from her malevolent origins and into the realm of virtue. What sets Ashura apart is her journey toward redemption. She aspires to transcend her demonic nature and ascend to a higher, purer state of being. The Chris acting as a catalyst is her means to achieve this spiritual cleansing. The blade is not just a tool for combat, it serves as a conduit for her purification, fueling her quest for absolution. With each swing of this mystical weapon, Ashura inches closer to her desired state, a state where the Nether Realm's taint can no longer bind her. Beyond its transformation, formative influence, the Chris empowers her attacks, allowing her to channel darkness through the blade and deal enhanced damage to adversaries. It grants her a unique arsenal, notably manifested in her angelic wings with blade-like fetters, a testament to the Chris's celestial essence. These wings not only add a distinct visual flair to her combat style but also serves as weapons, underlining the extent of her newfound powers. Thus, Ashra's journey and her prowess as a demon huntress are intimately entwined with the divine capabilities of the Chris, making her a strong force within the Mortal Kombat universe. Marvelous Verdict From demoness to demon slayer, she's shown us that even in the blood-soaked arenas of Mortal Kombat, a little bit of heavenly ambition can go a long way. Ashra's story, with its twists and turns, proves that Mortal Kombat isn't just about uppercuts and fatalities, it's about character evolution and the pursuit of light in the darkest of realms. Ashra is that intriguing anomaly donning white attire in a world of darkness, her weapon both a means of destruction and salvation. In this fighting game epic where fights and deaths are more common than a morning coffee, Ashra's journey stands out. So the next time you think Mortal Kombat is just about bone-crunching battles, remember that it also houses characters like Ashura, fighting not only their foes, but their own inner demons. Stay tuned for more twists, turns, and uppercuts in the ever-evolving world of Mortal Kombat. If you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone.